everybody. Welcome to this week's Bowtie Briefing. I'm Connor Brockett, part of the Government Affairs team here. And for this week's update, I'm going to cover a provision affecting Medicare ACOs and the finalization of the state budget process. First of all, House Bill 287, Amend Insurance Laws, is the title of that bill. And it was finalized by the General Assembly this week. It's been sent to the governor for his signature. There is one provision in there that we have been tracking closely and hoping to finalize this year that would clarify state law to say that ACOs that participate in the various Medicare programs, so the Medicare Shared Savings Program is one example, the Next Generation ACO model is another example, those ACO programs do not have to satisfy certain state law requirements that might otherwise need to be complied with since those entities bear some insurance risk. So this exemption would be uh, tailored just for those Medicare ACOs and we think it's a good policy to uh, reduce or remove the potential for duplicate regulation of those entities and will promote growth in that area and more participation in these new programs. The other item uh, that we need to mention is the, uh, the completion of the state budget process and just in the nick of time too with uh, July 1st being the start of the new state fiscal year. In the budget this year there is actually no major change to the Medicaid program. That's the, the number one priority we usually have with the budget. And with the completion of the budget, usually that means that the members of the legislature are ready to get out of town for the year to complete the work of the short session, and that will be, in fact, happening any day now. Finally, I want to say thank you to the medical students from ECU that joined us for White Coat Wednesday this week. Uh, it's been an especially busy time of the year, so they got to see a lot of action. Uh, they were recognized by the Speaker of the House at one point, and we thank them for taking time out of their, uh, their schedule and their studies to come and see uh, what happens at the General Assembly. Uh, so with that, um, I will sign off and say thank you for viewing, and we'll see you next time.